Right, question number 19. This is a cumulative frequency question. It says there's 100 teachers at Maria's school. Maria found out the age of each teacher and put it in a grouped frequency table. Um, the table gives out the information of her results. Complete the cumulative frequency. Well, two things. One, cumulative frequency is like an accumulation. We add up as we go along. But also we can see from the groups here. This group is between 20 and 30. So is this one, so that's why that uh, frequency or cumulative frequency is 26. This group means from th there are 35 teachers between 30 and 40 years old, including 40. But in this group says all of them from 20 to 40. So it's everything in this group plus in this group. So we've got to do 26 and 35, which is uh, 50, 61. Then this group says everything to 20 to 50, which is this group, this group, and this group. So it means this, this is 21 bigger than this, so it's going to become 82. 20 to 60 is the first four added together. So I just need to add another 12 to that one. And then 20 to 70 is everyone in this group. So it's, it should add up to what's 100, which makes sense because we've got 100 here. That's easy. On the grid opposite, draw your cumulative frequency. So I've got the grid on the next page, and it's a bit difficult because it's a bit small, but you can follow it a bit better on your paper copy. I need to plot this. And the important to, uh, thing to remember when you're plotting cumulative frequency, plot at the upper limit. So in your group, you're plotting 26 against 30, 61 against 40, 82 against 50. So you're plotting the upper limit, the maximum age in each group. So take a look at that. So the first one I need to plot is at 30, I need to go up to 26. So on my grid here, my first group is 30, and I go up to 26. So 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So as accurate as it possibly can be. Let's flip back one. Uh, at 40, I'm going to go to 61. At 40, follow this up. Uh, 60, 61 is just there. At 50, 82. 50, I'm going to go up, follow this line up all the way up to 81, 2. Sorry, it's not very clear. Uh, 60, 94, 60, and go up to 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 70 went up to 100. So that's there and there. And then I just plot these with uh, straight lines. Now, that usually in the exam, they only let you um, think about plotting these. But let's just have a quick look. Um, you should join the graph to the bottom of the first um, the bottom of your first uh, group here. So this group only goes to 20. So when we come to, oops, too many pages. When we come to plot this, we want to plot it back down to 20. That's the bottom of our first group. So let's just get my straight line sorted. And all I'm going to do is join up 20 to there. I'm going to join up there. I'm just going to do it like this. I have to do it like this because it's a bit funny. And then we plot our straight line like that. Okay, now you've got to be trying to be as accurate as you possibly can be. So this one's a little bit off. Okay, and then that's our plotting our graph. Use your graph to find an estimate for the median. We'll do that in just a sec. And use your find graph to find an estimate for the number of teachers older than 56. Well, median often comes with interquartile range. It doesn't in this question. We're just asked to find the median. So let's go. Median is half. So all I need to do is at half my people there are 100 people my graph goes up to 100 I apologize for my lines actually my lines are a little bit off you need to be more accurate than that but my lines my graph goes up to 100 so half of 100 is 50 so oh so 50 people and then go straight down from that which is there, my graph I make to be what's that on my graph? I drew here uh, 40, 39, 39, 38. I make it 37. So my median 
is 37 years. If I wanted to find my interquartile range, okay, so this was my median, wasn't it? That went across there. And then I read down. To find my interquartile range, I would go at the upper quartile and at the lower, oh, sorry, 75 upper quartile, 25 lower quartile, and then find the difference between the answers. But the next question asks us, use your graph to find the number of people who are older than 56. So let's go back to our graph. Let's get our line. 56, I'm going to draw a line up here. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5. 56 is there. So I'm going to draw a line going straight up at 56. Until I meet there. And then I'm going to go straight across here. And I make mine, um, according to mine, I make mine 88. Now we're allowed a little bit of difference. So if I went, when I went up and then when I went across, I make that number 88 according to my graph. Your graph might be slightly different. I know my lines are slightly out but um, the examiner will mark you on what's on your graph, so draw your graph accurately and use this line accurately. So 88 people uh, will be 56 or less. So there's 88 people. Now we know there's 100 people overall, so the older than 56 is if we take the 88, which means 12. I reckon there's about 12 people according to our graph. It's only an estimate because our mineral graph could be slightly different place. And that's it.